Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Also, welcome to my bathroom because that is going to be where we're hanging out today. I made a fall face mask, it has tons of benefits. It helps with collagen, it helps with acne, it helps with so many things to exfoliate your skin and make it feel so good and fresh because everybody wants good skin and to fight against wrinkles and lines and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna show you how to make it first and then we will meet back here for the results. So for this face mask, you're gonna need a bowl to mix it in, a quarter cup of pumpkin puree, a half an egg, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. If you are someone prone to dry skin, then I suggest adding a tablespoon of honey to this as well. really fast and so quick so I love it. Um, the texture is a bit runny which is why I suggest only doing a half an egg. So I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to get started. Okay. I don't know if this is better or not. Better or worse but we're going to do it. Okay. I'm going to take my glasses off and we're going to get started. I just feel like my skin has been so dry since fall. Woo! I had the pumpkin in the fridge so it's a little cold. <laughs> It smells so good. And like, consider the fact that there's pumpkin in it, so this face mask is not going to be cute, like, in any way. But I mean, like, I don't really care what it looks like, as long as it does its job. If you do have really dry skin and you do add the honey, it's going to be a little bit easier to put on because it's sticky. Uh, but because I didn't add the honey, it's obviously a little bit more runny, but no big deal. So because there is so much zinc in pumpkin, um, it helps with collagen production, which is awesome because that's what you want in your skin. And the apple cider vinegar is awesome because of all the acid. It basically is like an exfoliant for your skin. Um, so it helps like just kind of remove the dead skin cells and stuff to make it like really soft and nice. So you don't want to just put too much in it because then it'll also dry out your skin. So it could do the opposite. Because there's vitamin C, that's actually going to help with like fine lines and wrinkles. And with all the cinnamon, it's actually fighting uh, bacteria on your skin, so that's going to help with acne prone skin, which is awesome. I've been getting like a few breakouts now that my skin is drier and like the weather is getting worse. And by worse, I mean changing to not summer. Sad. Okay, so I have a nice thin layer. I know I look beautiful. Um, with the cinnamon in there, it's going to be like a tingly, like almost like a hot feeling, so your face might be a bit sensitive to that. Um, again, if your face is normally sensitive to things, I would suggest half the amount I use. But for me, I've done like some like hot pepper face masks, I've done like a lot of things, so I'm pretty used to it. But if it feels like it's too hot and it's like burning your face, then I would just rinse it off, um, and then next time just try half. But this works for me, and I love it. So I'm just going to wait like 10-15 minutes, um, it depends how drippy this is, but I'm going to go do one of my workouts from my ebook um, and then get that out of the way, it's only 8 minutes. If you guys haven't purchased it already, it is on my website which is mactopa.com and like thank you so much for all the people that have already purchased it and they love it, um, that really makes me so happy because I work so hard on it and I use it myself so it's something that I genuinely like love. Okay guys, so I am back. Uh, the face mask is now like hardened on my face. I ended up just doing uh, circuit number two out of my ebook while the face mask was drying, so that actually worked out perfect. Um, so I'm just gonna wash this off with just like lukewarm water, and then I'm gonna put coconut oil on top just to kind of like just calm the skin down. And like I love, love coconut oil. Anyone that knows me, I put it on everything. So I'm gonna get started on that. And then just pat your skin, don't rub it. And I like to use my hands to take off the mask because the cinnamon kind of exfoliates it on while you're like washing it off, which I like. But you can use a washcloth or whatever. Oh, it feels so good. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah, like my skin's so clean, but it's so dewy still. Because I hate when you do a face mask and it just strips all the oils off your skin and you feel like really dry. Like, I wouldn't have to put lotion on after. Like, honestly, I'd still go out, like, feeling like this. Oh, I love it. Um, now I'm just going to put coconut oil on. 
If you're going out, then I probably wouldn't put coconut oil on or just put a little bit of it, like a small amount. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy with this. Ooh, it feels so good. Oh, now I'm like so happy. Anyways, guys, I hope you try this out. I absolutely love it. It feels so good. I'm just like, I just want to touch my face even though I know I shouldn't. My hands are clean though, so it's okay. Um, if you haven't done it already, then hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every single week. I am trying to upload more frequently since that's been suggested for my channel. So anyways, I'm going to do my best to do that and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.